provide as much as possible all the examples that I uh, I ran into for uh, ANSYS Maxwell uh, and also ANSYS uh, HFSS designs and uh, I'm running with the ANSYS Maxwell at the moment and then uh, I'm using Simpluder as well so if you guys are interested to these two uh, you can tune out uh, with the different the tutorials that I'm putting here and also you can subscribe to this channel so you'll, you will always get the latest videos and you will notify as soon as I up to, uploaded a new video. You can also put your uh, questions on the, qu on the comment uh, section on each tutorials. Uh, do not put the questions in the message center of the channel and uh, lastly if you have some uh, designs that you would like to, uh, to have some help about that, it's a personal uh, assistance if you need, uh, you can send an email to my email and uh, uh, I will uh, put some charge for that uh, hourly charge. It's, it's not uh, it's not that much. I just put that to moderate the uh, incoming uh, requests. Um, so if you are not uh, comfortable with that, you probably uh, need to just uh, rely on the tutorials that I'm putting on the web. Um, okay, now in this tutorial, what I'm going to do, do is, is a very good thing and it's a very important thing, which is calculating the loss, the core loss of the transformers. Um, to make this tutorial a bit quicker, I'm going to uh, do the, uh, basically I always do the three uh, steps. One step is a design. The second step is to uh, uh, basically do all the uh, boundary conditions, excitations, and uh, meshing, um, and basically setting up the setup. And the third would be the results and interpre interpreting the results and how the results works and uh, plot them or animate them, uh, which you will see all of them in this uh, tutorial. Now, uh, the, section fir the first section, which is basically uh, going to be dedicated into designing the uh, the 3D uh, transformers. Now uh, I have a 3D files that I will share it to you and you can find it down below this video in the description sections and you can download that as well as the materials uh, uh, basically characteristics that you you would need for the for the core loss uh, calculation and these are a sample files that uh, are uh, provided by ANSYS and that was for one of their clients that asked for the core loss calculation of their transformers. The transformers that you see here is a 13.4 um, kilowatt, this is the RMS kilowatt of um, uh, transformer 3 phase and it's, it's pretty huge and uh, it does like uh, a 30 megawatt amp of uh, output. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the 3D design first and then I'm going to do the 2D design at the same time after this tutorial and you can compare the results and see how the 3D and 2D stands up next to each other. So let's go ahead and first click and uh, select the 3D designs. I'm going to import the 3D uh, Maxwell designs into my system and I'm going to provide you the model that I'm going to import right now. Before I do that, I'm going to go to the uh, Maxwell 3D solution type and I'm going to go and select the transient uh, basically mode for the, for the simulations. And uh, over there, I'm going to go back to the modeler and select import. And in the import, I want to make sure that I'm importing transformer.x underline t, uh, which is uh, basically a, a, a parasolid uh, file uh, type t. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to provide it uh, down below in the description so you can download the link. Okay, um, so uh, this. Uh, <coughs> pop-up comes and uh, you don't need to perform any uh, rehealing action so you just place close um, and uh, now you have right now the uh, the, the 3D uh, model of the transformer now uh, as I said for your ca uh, for your application you have to do your custom uh, design of course and also it comes to the core loss you have to uh, basically derive your own car, uh, core loss calculation table and after that you can use it unless if the materials that you're using is the same material that I'm using for the core uh, then you can use the table that I'm providing it to you for free okay uh, let's go first on the selected three um, 
LVA, LVB, and LVC, and uh, and uh, put a color for it, and uh, let's make them like uh, look like a copper. So I'm gonna put a color for that, so to distinguish them. And when it comes to the transparency, uh, put the transparency on zero, so you can basically see what's going on. Uh, when it comes to core, uh, you can leave the core color the same color that it was, but just the transparency, make sure that it's on zero. Okay. Now we have our uh, three uh, basically co uh, coils, and uh, we are ready. Uh, basically, the design is ready, and we can uh, start uh, doing the very first part, uh, which is creating the. Uh, uh, basically, first the, the, the materials uh, for this. So the material, uh, as I said again, um, I'm gonna go and select the three LVA, LVB, and LVC by pressing holding the control key, and uh, and go and right click on that and say assign material and go for copper. Copper is a very good material for the windings, and uh, so as this is gonna be the coppers. And when it now, when it comes to the material for the core, it's getting a bit tricky because we have to design our own material. Make sure that the material that you're putting is actually well defined in order to be able to calculate the core loss. For each application, you have your own materials, but now I can give you this uh, material definition for free and I show you how to do that. And you can basically uh, go ahead and just uh, select this material. Uh, one. Uh, uh, one thing that I was going to talk about is you have two ways to import this material. One way is to have this material download them the material library, which is AMAT, AMAT, and uh, put it on under your document library under the folder named Ansoft, uh, and then under the folder named Personal Lib, and inside that if you if you put paste the material, uh, it will show up as as it as it is, um, and you can basically uh, easily find it and 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 just just select the material. Otherwise, you can go ahead with what I'm going to show you here and uh, and just make your own uh, material. So I think that it's good to uh, tell you how to do that because if you are going to do it uh, by yourself later on, you can you can basically change it as well. So right click on the core and select assign material. Uh, over there you can go uh, either select the steel material and clone the steel or you can go and say add material. So you're going to make a new material and I'm going to call this material M1 uh, underline zero. Two, seven. That will be the same material that you can download uh, as a lib. Um, okay, so in this material uh, we have a relative permeability and it's not linear, it's a non linear uh, curve. And uh, let me just make it a bit larger so you can see exactly how things are going. Okay. Okay, great. Cl click on the BH curve and go and select import data set. Make sure that the file types are set on the dot tab and select the BH loss that I provide on the down uh, on the link below and just uh, open that. So as soon as you do that, you have the BH loss of your core loss uh, which will be there um, after that. Press OK, you are done with this part. Now, uh, when it comes to the uh, uh, core loss type you have to select the uh, basically electrical uh, steel and uh, right now you can see that the coefficients are not yet calculated they're all zero so to be able to calculate the co uh, coefficients uh, you can go and select on the non on the core loss at one frequency and then you select the import data set again and you import the second data set which is called core underline loss underline b dot tap file press ok on that you can also download that file on the description uh, below now you have your core loss and your bh curve at the same time and one uh, last thing that you have to do is to uh, basically uh, model the, the the core loss at this frequency and uh, for that we know that the frequency is 60 hertz uh, we want to go and select the, the uh, watt per kilogram and then over here we will put the mass density of 7650 and kilogram per meters, meter cube and then the frequency states at 60 Hertz 
for the thickness you can go whatever thickness that you have in this case we have 270 micrometer conductivity has to be uh, very large and so uh, we will put um, 500 thousand for the conductivity actually 5 million okay for the conductivity put 5 with 6 uh, zeros so that would be the con conductivity for that okay and uh, as soon as you uh, press the conductivity and you click on some other field you can see that uh, all the other uh, coefficients are already calculated as as you can see and uh, this is good so now you just press OK and you will see that over here we have the KH and KC uh, correlates type uh, coefficients already calculated and uh, and the rest is there now one thing that I have to add is the composition can be either solid or lamination um, I would go with the solid and I think that the ANSOFT is not very good to calculate and simulate the laminations effects of the core loss especially when it comes to um, to calculating the edge uh, flux uh, uh, leakages and all stuff like this so uh, my guess is uh, go with the solid but if you want you can go with the lamination and see the effect okay press OK on that uh, you can basically uh, before that you can validate the material uh, you can see everything is fine and then you can press OK so this would be a very long but very in detail and advanced uh, assignment of the material uh, you can go ahead and do more if you like but uh, I think that would be enough for our material assignment um, I think uh, over here and uh, most of the stuff are done I'm just gonna go through the last uh, steps which is defining the region for you so you can basically define your calculations uh, within this region um, so what you can do is basically you go over the uh, basically select the distribution part and uh, you can either say all type uh, the same uh, padding or you can have like the padding of different uh, uh, individual directions so for example um, I would say for the X you can go with the uh, 30 minus and plus for the Y you can basically go with the 200 uh, padding like the larger on the Y side and uh, and for the Z, Z, you can go with the 30. Again, this is all uh, uh, depending on your calculations and, and the accuracy that you want. That should be enough for you. So you will get your uh, vacuum region that uh, do all your calculation there. If you want, you can change the vacuum to air, but that's uh, something that is not very important. Now, this will conclude the design of the transformer in the 3D sections as well as the assignment of the materials and the region. And next tutorial I'm going to talk about how to do the excitations and mesh calculations uh, and, uh, and the rest of the setup uh, for the setup.